Hi there! So in this video I will show you how to set up a Telegram bot. So this, with this bot you will be able to send notifications about NFT sales, OpenSea listings, uh, Ethereum gas price and many other types of no notifications. So with this bot you'll be able to send messages uh, to private groups, to public groups or to yourself in a direct message. So let's start. So first of all, let's start entering or going to bodo.io and then we go to Bodoverse. So in the Bodoverse, you'll be able to find uh, recipes created by our community. So you can create your own recipe as well and share it here with your friends. So let's type Telegram in the search bar. And here you can see all the Telegram related recipes. And let's pick a, an easy one. So NFT sales to Telegram. Let's use this recipe. So here, what you can see are two blocks. So this left block, the NFT events, it captures NFT sales and sends to the next block. So NFT sales of, uh, of a certain collection and the Telegram block, so sends messages to Telegram. So we will focus in the second block, the Telegram one, and how to set it up, because this is the same way how you will set it up for any, any other recipe or any other bot. So specifically what we're looking for here is how to set up the handler. So we'll have to make a few steps only once, and, um, and then it's pretty much done. So let's start by clicking at the I icon here. And that takes us to the Knowledge Center. So the page about the Telegram block. And we'll go down here to the pre-requirements. So the very first thing that we will do is to invite BotoBot into your Telegram. So to my Telegram in this case. And there are two options for that. One of them is to open this link in another tab or window, or you use your phone and scan this QR code, which will invite Boto into your Telegram. So I'll use the first one. And then here on this page, I will click open in, in the web. So that's it, I have it here. So this has invited Boto into your Telegram. You will only have to do this once, okay? So the next step is, I'm presuming that you want to message uh, a certain group, okay? To send notifications to a group. So I select a group and then I will add Boto to this group. So I go here, I click here to add someone, Boto, so I invite Boto to the group, add, there you go. You added Boto to the group. So you only have to do this once per group. If you create a new group, you have to add Boto to this other group as well. So here we will authorize Boto to send messages to this group. So slash auth and then your email, then enter. And then Boto will answer you back, um, well, with whatever happened. In this case, it authorized. So my email to message this group here, we love Boto. So that's great. I have authorized it. Boto now can message this group and you only have to do this once per, per group. So here I copy the name of this group and I go back to Boto app. Then I paste it here on the handler. So I paste the name of the group here in the handler and that's pretty much it, okay? So next step is you save the bot and then you turn on the bot and there you go. There's nothing more that you need to do. So now if you want to message yourself instead of messaging a group, that's pretty much the same thing. You go there, you search for the Bodo user, okay? And you also do the same steps, auth, and then your email. So the email that you use to log in to Boto. 
and it will answer you. And so it will answer you with, instead of the group name, your username or a certain ID if you don't have a username in Telegram. You just copy that, go back to your bot, put that in the handler, and that's it. Save, turn it on, and it'll, it'll be working. Okay? So a few, a few topics that some people ask uh, when they're trying to build a bot, a Telegram bot, uh, that I think are, uh, are worth mentioning. So first of them, uh, the Bodo bot on Telegram doesn't require any special permissions. Okay? So I'll show you. I'm here in this group. I'll check the permissions. So here in this group, all the permissions are, are uh, enabled, but you don't need them all, okay? You only need send message, send media, send stickers and GIF, pulls not necessary, add users not necessary, this one and this one not necessary at all, okay? So only these ones here are necessary. The second thing is that you can message uh, a private group or a public group. It works for both, okay? And the last thing, Bodo doesn't need to be an admin uh, in your group in order to message your group. It can be just a regular user as it is here for, for this user. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope you have fun um, creating your own Telegram bot and see you around. Thanks for watching.